Welcome to the third tutorial of the series How to Make Basic 2D Game on Unity. Alright, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make infinite scrolling background. Open sprites, open terrain. We have um, BG File 1, drag and drop onto hierarchy. And uh, for those the T-Rex is not visible, adjust the Z-axis so that it is visible. For sometimes it is like zero, you cannot see that, so it may just you need to make it to minus one point something. Sometimes it, it's default like zero, right? And now we need to drag and drop the same background here. Just move a little bit to so that no one can see like this are uh, two pictures right now let's make these two backgrounds infinite my method is to make this background shift here and after uh, after t-rex arrives here this background shifts here after it arrives here this background shifts here the backgrounds will swap one after other it will be clear when I show you the preview. Before that, we need to make a child to the ma uh, main camera, which is a game object. Put it here and add a component, which is box collider, and also a rigid body 2D set as a schematic. I'll explain everything clear when once we enter into the coding and set this as is trigger. Go to PG final, add a component, do the same. Box collider, is trigger, PG final 2, add a component, physics 2D, box collider, is trigger. What we are going to do is we are creating a collider which is here and um, let me increase the size in my axis right. this box is collider when it collides with the background it detects that it is currently the first background when it exits the first background and collides with the second background the system can detect that it is on the second background we are going to take this as an advantage before that we need to tag this as a pg1 and a bg2 if you don't have these tags i mean they are not default i created them add tag and we can add tags like this okay just tag them as bg1 and bg2 and let's jump into code by writing add component new script bg shift right let's open this up and we got this now we have no work with uh, start and update we have a new function called on trigger Set D, which takes arguments like collider 2D, this is 2D thing, so collider, let's make this collider. Okay, what this does is we route the script to this game object. When this game object collides with any other box collider, like PG final 1 or PG final 2, with a trigger. After exiting the collision, this function is called. So, when the box is here, after exit the collision with this thing, when the box is here, that function is going to be called. So, we need to write something in this function. Before that, let's uh, take the width of the collider. So, I mean, width of the background. Width equals to we need to convert this from box collider to collider box collider 2d collider sorry collider collider carries all the information about this 
uh, dimensions collider dot size dot x we took the size in x that is width of the background okay now let's make a vector let's name this pause which is collider dot transform dot position this vector pause this stores the position of the collider what is the collider here the background so when the game object exits the, uh, when game objects collides with the background it stores its width and its position and now position dot x is equals to the position must be shifted from here to here from here to here after t-rex exits this background and enters this the position must be shifted from here to here in order to create an infinite illusion so position dot x equals to position dot x plus width we are shifting it by this width so width into uh, approximately 1.95 f works for me all right so if we have two colliders here we need to differentiate the collider so collider dot um game object dot tag we tag those two colliders with bg1 and bg2 if the, that is first one position dot x i'm sorry oh, okay collider dot transform dot position which must be equals to okay, position must be equals to pause which we set here okay similarly we have to do for the background too control c and control v all right let's see if it works play We need to get into scene in order to see this. See, it is working. The background is moving like this. You can see this background. It entered this BG final one, and the BG final one is here. After exiting the BG final one, it shifted to here. So they are swapping these positions like this. This creates an infinite illusion. You can see here. No one would know that these are the same. I mean, these are two backgrounds which are repeating one after the other, right? That's it for this tutorial. We have created the infinite scrolling background. And in the next tutorial, we are going to make these obstacles and randomize them. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you.